guys, welcome back. And here we are, um, episode three. We're still at the Citadel, and we've just recruited Garrus. Again, one of my, f no, definitely my favorite uh, squad member. And what we're doing now, we just got word from the doctor there. Uh, Miss, uh, excuse me, doctor, Chloe Michelle. Michael, Michelle, Michelle. Um, of where the Quarian is. Quarian, who is, uh, who is uh, Tally. So we're heading over to... Forget where. Lower wards. Uh, Fist of Crime Lord hiding out in a, at a bar called Cora's Den where we were, we, we were just there. Is meeting with a Quarian who has proof sirens working with Geth. So let's track that one. We're going... We're also going to get the crew and bounty hunt that Rex uh, might be able to help you against Saren. Oh, and he will. Rex is a beast. But first, let's do the, the Quarian tally. Uh, where are we going again? Lower wards, Taurus Den. Back, back the way we came. Ward. Taurus Den. Great. I'm enjoying this so much, I had to give myself one more drink. Here we go. We're gonna get jumped again. No. Is that meant to be a human or a sorry? Yep, he does. Nope, wrong one. Actually, go get him. Use your overkill. No, nope. on that guy. Oh, don't. Move it up. So you gotta watch your back. Headshot. Wow, there's a lot of contacts in here, like. We got a Krogan. We got a Krogan. Another Krogan. Whoa, Ashley, Jesus. We good? Whoa. Hey, froze. I don't know what I shot, but. See me do the trick. Oh, we have totally ended the the party in here. I think we have to gun in here. Stop right there! Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, I never liked Fist anyway. I would have never thought of that. Shooting people isn't always the answer. That's where the charm comes in. That shepherd charm. Easy to grip. Easy to grip. I'm just going to save up my Omni Gel for the big locks. There's a big gap. Look at that. Pistol, striker, shotgun, and 
I must be collecting a lot of these now. We've got a shotgun. Lancer, nope. God, look at all the shotguns we have. You know what? I fancy using a shotgun. I think I'm going to help myself to this one. Everyone else? You've got a uh, pretty good one, actually. And Garrus, you have a piece of shit. You take that one. You take this skimitar. We don't need the rest of these ones, they're crap. Just don't need them either. I don't think we're giving you new weapons, Garrus, sorry. You got the light oh no choice. Uh you've got a pretty good shotgun. Pistol. Uh Anything's better than what you've got, actually. Give you an edge. <laughs> give you an edge. We'll give you some radioactive rounds. Aye. Actually, armor-wise... Oh, I can give you a different arm. Oh, that's actually pretty good. Give you gladiator one. Whoa, actually, actually, that's a good look for you. All right, kit it out. We might have a fight in this room. Cheap. Yep, that was good call. My shields, man. Um, Garrus, where are you down? How do you revive? Revive. Where the frack? Nope. Okay, that's the thing. I surrender. Where's the Quarian? I mean business. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. He's lying. Yeah, he's lying. Well, I'm not going to shoot him. Come on. Get info. You better start explaining before I lose my temper. The Quarian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Impossible. The Shadow Broker only works through his agents. Nobody talks to the Shadow Broker, man. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. Nobody does. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. You what? Tell me where that meeting is before I blow your lying head <laughs> off. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. I never want to see you again. Is that clear? Don't worry, you'll never see me again. Hope so. Optical storage disk. Area map journal. The fuck? Oh, this is it. Fists OSD. 
you found an OSD containing information about Fisk's illegal activities, someone would likely want to get their hands on this information. Sell it, maybe? For a high price. <laughs> I'll buy it at a high price. I think we'll have to hurry and see it. This is like hurry music. Lost. Oh crap, yes it is. I see contacts in the next room. Show me that pretty face. Pretty face gone. You guys move up. There. I didn't mean to shoot that. face come on the quarry and lost in jesus man hurry what the hell did i just do fuck you <laughs> oh god i'm dying i'm dying idiot press the wrong button again i just keep hoying grenades everywhere again up here I hope it is I remember this place did you bring it where's the shadow broker where's fist they'll be here where's the evidence no way the deal no off. touchy See, that's how you throw grenades properly. I just need to throw them on accident. Oh crap! I'm dying. But I can't shoot. Jeez. I couldn't trust him. Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate the help. Who are you? I'm a friend. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. The ambassador's office. It's safe there. I want to see this anyway. Progress. You're not making my life easy, Shepard. Firefights in the wards and all out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many? Who's this? The Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Making your day, Ambassador. She has information <laughs> linking Saren to the Geth. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Background. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Search the stars. Sounds quite romantic. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, 
or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. The vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. God, you're such a politician. The Reapers are a threat to every species in Citadel space. We have to tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The Captain's right. We need to present this to the Council right away. What about her, the Quarian? My name is Tali. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. What about your quest? I thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. To be honest, this quest and the pilgr pilgrimage could be one of the same. Could find something along the way. I'll take all the help I can get. Thanks. You won't regret this. Join the ranks. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. Uh. Ashley, take a break. Uh... <laughs> Ty's the one with the info, so we'll go with that. And Garrus is my is my right hand man. It's my boy. Fuck Shepard, what are you doing? Shepard? Oh. Oh that was that was me. <laughs> I must have been crouching when the cutscene ended. Or began. When that one we just saw began, I must have been crouching. Oh, wait a minute. What about Rex? Hang on. Oh god, we've got to upgrade you, Tally, haven't we? Okay. Uh, electronics. Well, that's your jam, so we'll give you some of that. Encryption. 
And that's it. Me? Nope. We're good. We're good. What's next? Uh, Rex, right? Rex. The Cook and Bone Hunter is being questioned at Seaset Academy. You can meet him there if you if you want to speak with him. Rex. Expose Saren. No, 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 I'm looking at the wrong one. Speak to Rex. Seasec Academy. Fast travel, please. Where is the fast travel? Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Oh boy, what's this? Yes, Samesh. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I've requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. There's no reason for your wife's body to be held like this. Just wait here. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Bar. He was pointing this way. It's probably there. No, I was completely wrong. Ah, there he is. There's the chap. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. That I am. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. Yes. A man named Samesh Batya is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Batya. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Batya died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Batya no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nurali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is, in fact, extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Charming. I understand what you're trying to do, but holding the body is wrong. Commander, you of all people should understand how far we must go to protect humanity. Not if we lose our humanity in the process. I'm out there fighting to stop crap like this. Pause for effect. All right, Commander. You win. It was hard enough refusing Mr. Bhatia. I'm not going to risk an incident by refusing you. Tell Samesh that the body is being shipped back to Earth. I'll go now to see to it myself. You do that. Was she about to run at me there? I swear she was. Hello again, Commander. Has there been any word? I reminded Mr. Bosker what we're fighting for. Your wife is coming home. Thank you. I will return home and begin my preparations. It does not bring me happiness. But it may bring me peace. Goodbye, Commander. Ooh, we leveled up, guys. We are going to Rex C Sec Academy. So chambers. Oh, 
Is that where... Is that where um, Shepard gets his... Um, his freak on? Now I'm curious. Scan you. We literally took a taxi from over there to over here. So much empty space. A thousand of my people could live here and hardly even see each other. It's a little insight to the Quarians. No disrespect. They do live as nomads. And by our standards, living on top of each other. Nelina. Welcome. I am Nelina. I, I don't that name recognize in. you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consort will be able to meet with you? Yes. Can't I just go in? Mm, I'm afraid not. Yeah, you must understand there are many who seek the consort services. But if you wish to leave your name, she'll make every effort to meet with you. All right. Commander Shepard, with the Alliance Navy. Excellent. You should hear something in... Um, three or four months. Jesus. Nobody's worth that much of a wait. <laughs> well, that's not for me to judge. I have your name and you'll be contacted. Is there anything else? I think I'm done here. Oh, well, I hope you'll return again in the future. We always enjoy seeing new clients. Nalina. What the hell? Yes, Shaira? Send the commander up to see me. I wish to speak with him. Yes, of course, mistress. Why? Oh, I've never done this before. This is... Huh. It appears the shot. consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. I remember the last... <clears throat> I just went ahead and did the story last time. Sorry, I wasn't listening to what you said. What did you say? Meet with you now. Okay, sure. Where yeah, do I yeah. go? Just head upstairs. She'll be waiting for you. Am I about to... You know... Surely it can't be that easy. Seriously, guys, you don't have to join me in here, you know. Wait here. Wait here, guys. That is close enough, Commander. I've heard a great many things about you since your arrival here in our citadel. What exactly do you do? That depends on your needs. I offer advice to some, comfort to others. I have a certain problem that could use your expertise. Maybe I can help. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Turian general. I won't discuss the details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. We had a falling out. Now he spends his days in Korra's den, drinking and spreading lies about me. If you would speak to him as a fellow soldier, I believe he will listen to you and let the matter be. Yeah, I saw him. He told me to piss off. Okay. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince oh. him to stop spreading lies about me, I would be very grateful. Okay. Now I must ask you to take your leave. I have many clients waiting to see me. I know. I know what I'm told. Give me a tiny bit of sugar, and then told me to fuck off. This is totally new to me. I have no idea 
what I'm doing. Console is not something I uh, remember from my first place, so I'm not sure if I did it or not, but this does not bring back any memories at all. I mean, come on. When I played this last time, it was 13 years ago, which would make me what? Can't do maths right now. Very young. Very young. Probably, I probably didn't even know what consult meant. Still don't. He was right. There he is. This is the guy I told us to piss off. Commander! <laughs> what do you want? I'm here on Shayira's behalf. Your lies are hurting her. Good! Her lies have been killing me for days. I've seen a lot of horrible things in my days, and... There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget it. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Because she rejected me. Me! Septimus Araka, General of the Turian Fleet. <laughs> Sounds like someone's making fun of him in the background. I think I can see why you're upset, but spreading these lies won't make it better. Look, kid, I appreciate what you're trying to do, but don't waste kid. your time. All right, Shepard, trying to try time to use that charm. General, did you ever win a battle by moping in a bar? Ha, <laughs> war. That's what this feels like, all right. How did I let it come to this? So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? It damn well couldn't hurt. Huh. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. <laughs> this is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I'll go to her. After I've had a cold shower or... <laughs> Say, you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? What? Stop calling me kid. Uh, okay. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why would he think such a thing? Because I told him. Look, I just need you to convince him of the truth. What makes you think you'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. It will exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Where to? Yes, yeah, seriously. This place is like a maze. I need... I need details. I need to write them down. Who am I taking it to? And where is he? His name is Zaltan. He's an Elcor diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. Thank you. I think I know where that is. Right when we got to the Citadel, we left um, Udina's quarters and went into a room with a load. Oh, Jesus, jumping on the tables and shit. We, and then we went into a room that was full of alcohol. Those big bulky dudes. That might be where we need to go. This quest line's weird, but I'm kind of liking it. It's funny. Proper funny. Fast travel! Oh, where'd he say? Embassies. Presidium. Embassies. Uh. 
down with some uh, stuff I spent in this book, so I can mention Elko. That was speak to Elko Embassy, find him and show him the evidence of Shaira. It's not the blame for his secrets getting out. I love it how it has a little picture of the like the items that you have no control over getting rid of or using or, or checking, but I like how it has a picture of it to give you an idea of what it looks like. I don't know, I like that. Nice touch. Alright. It's probably up here. Because this is the embassy receptionist. This is where we came out when we arrived. And I remember coming out of here. There's a couple of doors in here, if I'm right. Up here. But that's where we started off at the with Udina. Yes! Zeltan. Is that him? Zelta, I got it right! Oh, can't believe I got that right. Hello there, human. Sincere apology, but I am here on business and cannot be distracted right now. That's why I'm here. I've come to talk to you about your little problem. Curious. What do you know about the consort and her relationship to me? Um... I know who revealed your secret. It was a Turian named Septimus. Unbelieving. I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secrets. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Did I fuck up? Here, there should be proof enough for you. Thank you, Garrus. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Turian could learn this on his own, dismayed, anyone can discover my secret. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved. I suppose you are correct, human. Thank you for this information. Startled realization. I must speak with the consort. She will be most displeased with my actions. Anxious request. Please, human, if you will excuse me, I must go now. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, uh, these guys are jacked. You've seen that once. As you say. I'm sure the Earth Clan stands to profit from this in some way. Don't be such a cynic. Do not listen to my Volus compatriot. Oh, I'm not. It was a good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. Thank you, Mr. Kalin. Pleased greeting. Human, it is always good to see your kind. I am Ambassador Kalin. Genuine query. Is there something I can do for you this day? No. Goodbye, Ambassador. Sorry, Sincere Ambassador. Farewell. Honestly, Good thought you were you human. Enjoy your time on the Citadel. Honestly, thought you had a shop. Didn't know you were an ambassador. Is that it? Are we done? Can't believe I started this whole thing out trying to get Rex. Where's Rex? Sorry, can't. Are we not finished? Speak with she. All right. Wow, this cross line is long. Fast travel. Alright. Done your running Commander, around. I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Alcor diplomat has withdrawn his campaign against me. Glad to help. Let's talk. Ooh, let's talk, babe. Uh, no, I don't want to be a dick. Glad to help. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. 
but I would not expect you to help me out of the kindness of your heart. See, you get paid. I also have one more thing to give you, if you're interested. See, if it's a nice guy, people... Well, I don't know. That's a good rule to live by. If it's a nice guy, people will pay you. I don't, I don't know if that... But anyway, she's going to give me, give me some money anyway. Wasn't listening. What is it? A new weapon. I'd be honored. I offer a gift of words, an affirmation of who you are and who you will become. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. You are a soldier through and through, proud, solitary, alone. But it gives you strength. It is that strength that people are drawn to. It is why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. So she's like a fortune teller. You have quite a gift, Chaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Elcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. What is it? A small mystery. I have never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass it on. And now I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Remember my words, Commander Shepard. They will give you strength. What'd she give us? So long, Commander. I can offer you nothing more at this time. Okay. Shit. Put that away. Jesus. What was the... Stop that. What was the trinket? Seriously. Okay, we totally went off on a tangent on that one. All right. Well, next we've got to go get Saren. Saren. What the fuck am I on about? Next we've got to go get Rex. So, yeah, I think we'll stop there. Um, really got sidetracked on this one. Uh, we were going to go recruit Rex, which is definitely what we're going to be doing in the next episode. I swear to God. Definitely what we're going to be. First thing we do in the next episode, but we ended up getting sidetracked. We ended up ended up doing this consort's bidding, which amounted to me getting a trinket, and I have no idea what it was. Still, it is what it is. I thought it was going to end in a you know a different way, but that didn't happen. So. We'll continue it next time, and uh, thank you so much for joining me with this one. Please join me in the next one where we get the big guy, get Rex. All right. See you then.